So I don't know what it is that sticks out to you guys when it comes down to making your builds or deciding what kind of my player or play style that you want to make or do whenever a new 2K comes out. But for me, personally, I'm always the kind of person that goes for making a build that can do a little bit of everything. You know why? Because 2K gives us that ability with this my player builder. So why not? This guy, Sean RKL, tweeted at Baluba saying this, Hi Baluba, please make it impossible, impossible to create builds like this in NBA 2K23. 92 driving dunk, 88 three point, 87 ball handle, 90 still on a 6-6 build is crazy. It is crazy. The My Player Builder that we have right now allows you to create all of these demigod-like builds, all these glitch builds. Your build can do any and everything. And it's like being able to always make a build like that, it makes it like it's no point of having role players. No point of having role players. Role players are gone in NBA 2K. That's gone. That's history. That's back in 2K17. Nobody makes a role player anymore. Why would you make a pure archetype when you can make a build that can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and still be just as efficient? Not No, not even just as efficient. Way more efficient because you're not one-dimensional. Nobody's making one-dimensional players anymore. The issue with this my player builder is, is really no caps. You can upgrade whatever you want as long as you got the attribute points and it's like everybody is figuring out how to make the glitchiest the most souped up builds possible and it's like the only way you can beat them is if you make another build like that to give them some competition that's what it seems like like it's, it's just not how it used to be back in 2k17 when pure archetypes was a thing and everybody had to play their role based off their archetype if you wanted to shoot consistently and, uh, and have a high three point you had to make you a sharpshooter and if you were big you had to make you a stretch big and it was like this if you not if you don't really remember 2k17 it was like this you wanted to have all the shooting attributes okay you can get all the 99 shooting and stuff like that but to penalize you you're not gonna have that good of a playmaking your defense not going to be all that. Same thing for the stretch bigs. Yeah, you can shoot all day long. You can pull from half court, but your rebound, if a glass cleaner come around, a pure glass cleaner, glass cleaner got all the rebound, you're not finna out snag a gla glass cleaner. It's not happening. It's not happening. And if you wanted to have all the glitchy dribble moves, you had to make you a pure playmaker or a point forward and cook up. And that's just how it went. That's just how it was. You wanted to get contact dunks, you had to make a slasher. Even though back then it was a uh, animations glitch and everybody had animations glitches on their players so everybody was able to do contact dunks if they did the animations glitch. But that's besides, that is totally besides the point, okay? Totally beside the point. This was a time when archetypes and all that stuff mattered everybody had a role to play literally you could leave all the other builds wide open at the three point because wasn't nobody else making no three it wasn't guaranteed that a slasher was about to knock down a three point it wasn't no guarantee that a glass cleaner was gonna knock down a three point if it wasn't a sharpshooter people weren't hugging you at the three line but now in these days everybody can shoot you gotta hug and guard everybody at the three point it's ridiculous but I want to know what you guys feel about that. Do y'all feel like that's a skill gap or not? Giving everybody the ability to shoot. You get have all these souped up, juiced up builds. It's crazy. Back in 2K17, you would make a build, but it would have all these caps. Like, if you pay attention to what you see on your screen right now, this is for a sharpshooter. Look how high the three-point and the mid-range is, but look how low everything else is with those white bars those are the cap marks those are the cap bars you can't go past that you cannot go past that so those are just some things that i wanted to point out i honestly feel like the game the my player builder needs a major fix they need to rework it and try to balance everything out if we still have the capability to make builds like that everybody's going to make builds like that role players have served no purpose because it's like why would you make a pure sharpshooter or say for instance on on uh old gen when they still had the pie charts in 2k22 
why would you make a a build that has mainly green pie chart when you can do the the green and yellow pie chart and still be effective create your own space for your own shot and don't have to just depend on someone passing you the ball every time to shoot because a play shot can still shoot just effectively as a pure pure sharpshooter still can shoot from deep still get the same badges everything it's just you can add the dribbling to your arsenal so why would you make a one-dimensional build nobody's doing that it's, it serves no purpose 